Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I have these Cummins ISB out of this um, M2 Freightliner. Uh, the reason why I have this uh, Cummins ISB is because we, re did it, we did a full engine replacement. Uh, but just because we do a full engine replacement doesn't mean that we won't have any problems with the engine. As you can see the engine is running, but uh, this is something I'm going to show you. Um, after the engine uh, replacement, we run with different problems. And the first problem we had was uh, the turbocharger. We had to replace the turbocharger because uh, it, it went bad, it was stuck, uh, and um, it was not producing any power. But, uh, but also, we have another problem now. The problem is that the engine shuts off. And uh, that's something that we need to fix because the truck cannot go anywhere if we have that issue. Um, as I say, the engine is running and it seems like it's running fine. But uh, we have uh, the shake engine light on. And uh, if you wonder, the truck has 200,000 miles, almost 300,000 miles. The region light is on because it's been idling for a while. Anyway, um, the fault code we have is going to be right here. We have the computer connected. Um, this, turn the light off. Okay, yeah, so much uh, reflection. So, okay, let's get the fault code so you can see the fault code right here. We have the fault code right here. That one, that is uh, 0559, and it talks about the injector pressure that is below the normal. And the fault code number on the, on the universal number is going to be 15718. SPN 15718, that is the universal uh, focal number it refers then the injector pressure is not building so what happened here is uh the engine after a while it runs out of power because of course uh it's not having enough fuel pressure but that what causes the fuel pressure that's what you need to know that's something that you need to research and that is something that uh, we need to uh work on so uh give me a second i need to do something right now All right, I am back. Um, I was moving that car because that truck is going to park there. Anyway, um, I was saying then we need, we need to address the problem. So that's the reason why I have the engine running and we need to see what is the cause of the problem. Of course, we have a low pressure, but also it means then uh, it, it can just only mean one problem. It can be many problems. But uh, thanks to the uh, computer uh, software, we can tell exactly where the problem pinpoint the problem depending on the on the fault we have that's the type of uh, measurements we have to take and the readings we have to inspect to see the actual problem anyway the truck is running as i say normally and um, idling if i hit the gas it dies see it's off completely off um, we have fuel, uh, yeah, right there, you can see the fuel, um, so the fuel is circulating to the system. Uh, we have new filter, new fuel was separated because we replaced the engine on this one, and we have a new fuel filter as well, because as well, we replaced the engine, and uh, we didn't replace the fuel pump, the fuel pump is located somewhere in there, it's pretty bright, focus on it, somewhere, somewhere in there. Um, and uh, the fuel rail is that one there, the one with the lines there. Anyway, uh, we did uh, replace that and... Uh, sir! No? What's, what's going on? Oh, that thing got, got the camera cap there. Yeah. Uh oh. What's going on? It ain't on, is it? Yeah, it is on. Oh, man, come on. What's going on? Man, let's go home take a nap. I'll be back. All right. That's the new motor you put in here? Yeah, this is a new motor we stole on this one, but it's having issues still. 
What's wrong with it? Fuel pump and uh, turbo went bad. So we already replaced the fuel pump, now the fuel pump is bad too. So it contaminated it? Yes. What you gotta do, drain the tanks? And put a new fuel pump? Well, not exactly, but depending if it, like, if it damaged completely, like it's damaged, like it disintegrated itself, like all the debris went into the tank, yeah, we, we, we might have to oh, do that. Right, right. Like if it's just the fuel pump not pre uh, pushing enough pressure, that's just replace oh, okay. the fuel pump. Oh, no, yeah. that ain't no big deal. Then. Yeah. Because it's new. Yes. It, the, the engine is new. Everything is new. Injector is new too. Yeah. Because they so came with the with the engines. So. so you gotta put a new fuel pump in. There. New fuel pump, but you know, owners sometimes don't want to spend money on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you try, but it ain't gonna work unless you put that fuel pump on. There. Yeah, we have to. So we need to tell the owner now that we need to replace the fuel pump. Yeah. 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 Because that's the only way it's gonna work. Yes. It's like when you do a you do a, a airframe. You might as well put new injectors because yeah. it's not going to work right. Exactly, but yeah. but you know it's depending on the budgets of each individual. Yeah. Sometimes they cannot afford it, so we have to deal with it. Sometimes we put new gasket and everything. Now we have to open it again, messing with everything up, you know. But that's how it is, you know. That that is what it is. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. I'm gonna go take me a nap. I'll be back by three thirty. All right. Okay, back to the video. As I was saying, okay, yeah, the engine shut off, the fuel pump right there, rails are there, we have new filters and all that, okay. So now let's go to the diagnostic part. So, of course, the engine is off right now, so we have no fuel pressure. Uh, see, that's the top, uh, the one in, in blue, that's the 13764, that is the pressure that the computer is asking for, and the bottom one, uh, 150. 116 that that pressure is the one then the computer is actually measuring from the sensor on the rail usually people change the uh the pressure uh sensor thinking that the pressure sensor is bad in most cases the sensor is not bad it's just the fuel pump is bad too uh in this case i say as i was talking to tim uh, we have new injectors because the engine was completely replaced um anyway uh so now we're going to start the engine and it runs good you can tell but here is what we're gonna see the diagnostic part uh, okay focus there okay so you can see then the pressure then the computer is asking for is 16,000 psi but the pressure then we're getting out of this engine out of this fuel pump is just 1700 1600 which is pretty minimal. That's the reason why if we try to accelerate the engine, the engine dies once it goes back to idle because it doesn't have enough pressure to uh, keep the engine idling after the engine returns back to idle. Um, and yes, uh, this is a very common fault on Cummins ISX uh, and in this case it is affecting this ISB right here. You can see ISB 6.7 and one of the serial number right there um, in this case it's affecting this ISB engine and uh, um, yeah uh, usually when the fuel pump warms up these problems are to happen so if if we start the engine in the morning for uh, just for example uh, we turn the engine in the morning like we're gonna warm it up the engine is gonna run fine it's gonna accelerate it's gonna have power it's gonna have that but once the engine reaches a specific temperature, probably like 160, 175, the engine is going to start having issues. Low power, and then after low power, it's going to have also uh, the problem that the engine shuts off because the fuel pump is not producing enough pressure. So for that, of course, we need to replace the fuel pump. As you can tell on these uh, M2 engines, it's not so easy. I mean, M2 chassis, it's not so easy to replace the fuel pump, so we're gonna need to work a little harder to get uh, to uh, be able to replace the fuel pump. But this is part of the job, so we need to do all that. Um, uh, but this is something I wanted to talk about about these uh, situations that we're getting with uh, uh, trucks in general. I'll give you an example myself. We did replace a full engine, a full engine replacement direct from the factory. 
and that doesn't mean that the engine is gonna the truck is gonna run perfect because we're still reusing many components we was we were reusing the uh the turbocharger we we're reusing the uh fuel pump so now we found in the turbocharger and the fuel pump were bad so you know something that we cannot expect so uh, my recommendation to all of you if you are going to do a full engine replacement replace the fuel pump replace the harder components the harder components to replace replace them so that way you don't run into these problems because now we have to charge extra labor to replace the turbo which i already did and now extra labor to replace the fuel pump something that we uh uh would have replaced like pretty easy you know uh, that's we no, no no problem you know so um but it's part of the job um if the owner agrees to do that i mean like i don't have no complaints so i think it's part of the job so if he says do it like that uh we do it as you guys say so uh and as i say uh, if you guys gonna come to my shop you are more than welcome just you know like be sure to have sometimes um a spare time to leave your trucks here at the shop because we need some time we are working in different trucks right now and still we are behind with so many trucks and trying to catch up is not so easy but you know we're trying our best but uh, as it is uh we just uh finished with this truck i finished with the video i wanted to do an explanation about why this uh a truck is failing and uh and yes, uh, so sad to see that we replace the engine on this one and the truck doesn't go anywhere yet because uh, it is uh, other components that are failing. But you know, like, it's not my fault to be honest. Uh, of course, my like, recommendation was uh, given to the owner of the truck uh, to replace uh, the components, but he didn't uh, want to do so because he was already expensive, he was already spending twenty thousand dollars just for the engine alone so it was not something pretty easy to do you know in general anyway um hope you like the video if you have any questions comment below and instagram you can find me as francisco maya youtube and thank you for watching